Let's look at example 1C. Now look at this question. A body projected upward from the level ground at an angle of 50 degrees with the horizontal has an initial speed of 40 meters per second. What is the maximum height reached by the body? Now we are asked to get the maximum height reached or attained by the body. Now a formula was also derived for this in our previous lesson. We got a formula for this. So um, what's the formula for mass height? H max. The formula for mass height, don't forget, we got the formula from V squared equal to U squared plus 2AS. And that's why you can decide to use a formula method or to use an analytical method. The formula method saves our time. So the at max height, the final velocity is zero. So zero squared equal to initial speed along um, y-axis, because we are talking about height, is uh, that is U sine theta raised by 2, then minus 2GH, we send it to the other side. So at max height, it is U squared sine squared theta over 2, over 2G. There's a formula for the mass height attained. This is a formula for the mass height attained. So don't forget, we know what our theta is already. Our angle is 50 degrees to the horizontal, and the initial speed of projection is 40 meter per second. So what's the mass height? The mass height, H max, is, we're just going to fix this two parameters into what we have here. So the mass height is 40, that's 40, raised to power 2 times sine square theta is sine theta raised to power 2. So that's sine 50 degrees raised to power 2 divided by 2 times gravity. Gravity is 10 meter per second squared. So what do we do? Uh, H mass, let's see the highest height attained by this body. Don't forget, this is what we are discussing. It's a shot like this. It flew out like this, got to maximum height before gravity sends it back. So the highest height it attains is what you're about to get. Height, mass height. Don't forget that maximum height. At maximum height, it is the first phase of this whole movement. So the body gets the mass height first, then before gravity comes in and sends it back. At first, the first phase, it disobeys gravity up to mass height. Then at mass height, it loses all its initial speed and starts falling back. So that's what we're, that's what we're solving for right, uh, right now. 40 raised by 2 is 1,600 times sine phi word, sine 50 raised by 2. Then divided by 20, that's 2 times gravity, 2 gravity. So we're going to use our calculator to get this sorted. Let's do that right away. 1,600 times sine, that is times sine 50, times sine 50. Then divided by 20, 